Zazzle released over 30 products in 2023. So in this video, let's go over all of the products that were released to the marketplace on Zazzle. And then I'll give you a little bit of my thoughts and insights on each product as we go. But before we dive into that, let's talk about some of the benefits and potential pitfalls of jumping on board these brand new products to the Zazzle marketplace. So some of the benefits are that you're going to get something called first movers advantage. So that means that for the products that are brand new to the marketplace, nobody else has designed on them yet. So there is very little competition in the space. So you have the absolute best chance. Like that is the time when you're going to have the absolute best chance of getting found and making sales so long as of course you've done good metadata which i go over in this video here and you have a good design on your product but as long as you have those two things that's the time when you're going to have the best chance of getting found in the marketplace on Zazzle when there is next to no competition. This is actually a strategy of my own that I have been using over the last few years and it's been serving me pretty well. That being said, you don't wanna jump on every single product that gets introduced into the marketplace because not every product is going to fit your niche and be right for your target audience. You definitely want to kind of pick and choose which products you're going to go after when they're introduced into the marketplace, especially because we want to be efficient and strategic in our Zazzle businesses. Efficiency is going to save you in this business, especially because there's so much repetition. So you don't want to just jump, like drop what you're doing and jump on a new product when Zazzle introduces it to the marketplace, unless it actually is right for your shop. So that's where you need to have some strategy around what your shop is about and who you're targeting. So let's talk about some of the drawbacks of going after these brand new products to the marketplace. And the biggest one to me is that the product is generally untested in the marketplace. So if Zazz is introducing a brand new product to the marketplace, obviously I would like to think that and trust that Zazzle is doing their product research and they are introducing products to the marketplace that they think are going to do well. That being said, it's happened before where um, Zazzle introduces a new product to the marketplace and I don't know if it's that it doesn't perform or whatever reason, but it doesn't last very long on the marketplace. And if you've invested like days or potentially even weeks trying to build up your catalog of that product in your shop, that time has just gone to waste. So for me, that's probably the biggest downfall is just kind of that lack of proof of concept. We just don't know how that product is gonna perform on the marketplace. That being said, you'll see that a lot of these products that I'm going to list off to you, they already have some variations on the marketplace. So to me, that kind of signals that those products do do well already. And so they have a pretty good chance of doing well. But then the benefit of getting that first mover's advantage isn't really applicable in that situation. And I feel like I'm being a little bit vague here, so I'll explain that more as we go. So yeah, there is that definitely that element of risk. And if you think of it in terms of investing, because we're investing our time into our Zazzle business, we're not investing necessarily dollars, but we are investing time and time is money. So you definitely want to kind of balance your risk. Like in investing, you want to have a balanced portfolio of some risk and some pretty safe bets. So even with a Zazzle business, it's like, yeah, we want to go after those newer products, but they do add more risk to your like portfolio. And then you should also go after those tried and true products that you know sell well on Zazzle. And with that balance, you should have the best chance of success. And then one more thing to note that to me isn't really a negative, but I think it can be to some, is when you do jump on those new products, they are brand new, especially when they are brand new to the Zazzle marketplace, as in it's not just like a different variation of a product the customers on Zazzle don't know that that product type exists yet. So it might take a while to start to gain traction and actually make sales. And sometimes I find that when Zazzle introduces new product types to the marketplace that they won't necessarily promote it right away. They'll wait until there's like a buildup of designs and then they'll start promoting the product. So you kind of have to get through that lull where there's like crickets and then you should start generating some views and hopefully sales. 
So I kind of touched on it before, but I want to explain what I was talking about earlier. And it's important to note that not all the new products on Zazzle are made equal. So what I mean by that is some of the new products that Zazzle introduces or launches are just variations of products that already exist in the marketplace. So an example of that would be the um, seltzer can coolers that they introduced er or last year um, in 2023, it's on this list. And Zazzle already offers the regular sized can coolers. So all of those regular sized can cooler designs can get transferred over to the seltzer can cooler designs. Like obviously some of those designs aren't gonna fit perfectly, but there's still probably, I haven't checked on the competition, but I would imagine there's still hundreds of thousands of designs. So you're not really getting that first man's advantage. And same thing with phone cases every year when the new iPhone comes out, Zazzle brings out new iPhone cases. They update their, they get the updated one. So if you made designs for the 12 or the 13, those designs are gonna get ported onto the newest one that comes out. So you don't need to double up on like phone case designs either. And so that's kind of a good thing and a bad thing because yeah, you miss out on that opportunity for the first mover's advantage but you also, if you already have like a hundred can cooler designs, you don't have to worry about putting them on the seltzer bottle. They're already going to automatically be ported over. As long as you have that option ticked off in your advanced settings. And we went over that in the video where I walk you through opening your first store and I'll link that up here. Okay, so we've gone over some of the benefits and the potential pitfalls of designing for new product types that are introduced to the Zazzle marketplace. Let's go over the products that were introduced last year in 2023 to the marketplace. Before we get into the products listed in 2023, I just wanna take a second to invite you to check out my product description prompt generator. It's a tool that generates prompts for AI and then the AI gives you product descriptions for your products on Zazzle and they give you keyword rich product descriptions that are pretty much like ready to go and it's just a huge time saver and you're getting a really good product description so that your products can get found in search engines like Google so then you stand to make way more sales and way more money and then when you make sales from Google you get boosted in the rankings on Zazzle so it's actually just like a really good product but I encourage you to go check that out yourself and test it out. So let's get into the products that were offered last year in 2023 on the Zazzle Marketplace, the new products. So the first one is cornhole set bags. <laughs> so like the, the bags that you toss when you're playing cornhole. Um, I think Zazzle introduced cornhole the game the year prior. I think they introduced it in 2022, possibly 2021, I can't remember. And I'm assuming that it's selling decently well because they're introducing these bags. So that kind of goes to tell you that the cornhole sets are a success. They're also really high ticket items, so they make a really great commission. The next one is the giant topple tower, and that is another game. It's basically giant Jenga. And the games were mentioned in the wedding creator guide in one of my last videos. So. They're definitely good to make for the wedding niche. And also the price tag for the giant topple tower is um, 160 bucks is the base price. So that's gonna be a really good commission if you can make some sales on that. The next one is wood framed round clocks. And this one's kind of random to me because I just like would never think to design on a clock. And Zazzle already offers, um, let's see how many, they already offer one, two, three, four, five other clocks. And so they've added a sixth clock option, the wood, the round wood option. So to me, that's a really good sign that these clocks actually sell. And I just think it's so interesting because it's something I would never think to design on. I would just like never bother to create that item. And that's one of the reasons I actually really love Zazzle because, because you and I can design on completely different things. We can have completely different shops and we can still both do well. There's so many product options on Zazzle. So I don't, I don't feel that like defensiveness about it. I, I want to share with you. Obviously I don't want to like share my own shop like that. I feel 
protective of that, but like I don't feel protective over these products because there's so many. So you really, it's just not, it's not about designing on every single product. It's about picking which products you want to design on and just sticking to those and just making those the best that they can be. Okay, so anyways, I got a little, I got a little distracted there. So back to the clocks. I personally cannot speak to the clocks. I have never, as I said, I have never designed on one. So I've obviously never sold one, but for me, to see that they've added a sixth option, that tells me that they sell pretty well. And the base price is almost $35, so at a 10% commission, you're making $3.50. And I also should note too that I find most of my products don't sell at full price. They're typically like 20% off, so that base price to me, I find is a little bit of a lie. Just take 20% off. <laughs> and you're gonna be closer to what you're actually gonna be making on that product. The next product is the Seltzer Can Cooler, which we talked about earlier. So that was introduced in February. And I think that this is a great option. I know that for me, I've noticed when I go out and stuff, more people are drinking those seltzers rather than a beer. And even I went to my sister's bachelorette party weekend getaway thing last summer. And yeah, definitely all the alcohol were in those taller, skinnier cans, those seltzer type cans. So I think that these seltzer can coolers are going to sell really well. The next product is foil prints, and these are essentially posters, but they have the foil option. So you can do gold foil or silver foil and the prints, you can get them in a square format and they are four by four inches up to 16 by 16 inches, or you can get them in like a landscape or portrait format. And those are in five by seven or seven by five up to 18 by 24 or 24 by 18 inches. So good size options and who doesn't love foil? Along with the foil prints, they've also come out with foil folded cards. So greeting cards or holiday cards that are folded, they had the flat ones already. So now they've introduced the folded ones and they have the option of silver and gold foil. And they mentioned that they may introduce some other foil options. So I would imagine that's gonna be like a bronze and a rose gold. The next one is hot sauce favors. And I thought it was hot sauce flavors. Anyways, so these are, I guess, wedding favors or party favors. They could also even be little small business favors. Like you can definitely be more creative with it, but I think the go-to would be for weddings. Next we have illuminated signs. So the illuminated signs are pretty cool and I think you can have some fun with this one. I think there's a lot of options with this one. Again, weddings, That's I feel like weddings is an option for almost every product on Sazzle, but yes, okay, so weddings would be an obvious option. I think that small businesses could be cool. I think for like, I think like a hair salon or some kind of business where people are coming in and out all day and you could have like a little illuminated sign that says something. You could even just have one that says open for the for the front window. Another idea that I had for these was short-term rental businesses are booming right now. I like hate it or love it, but I thought that that could be a, a fun little thing if you had like a quirky little kind of vacation-y style sign. Maybe you could do it for like, I think automatically when it, when it's illuminated sign, I think of a tropical vacation, like a beach or something, but you could even do it for like a winter vacation, a ski hill or something. The other thing that I think about is at like a bar or something, that kind of business. Zazzle's also come out with new Zippo lighter colors. So they already sold Zippo lighters in a few different options. I think black, white metal metallic, I can't remember. Um, but now they've come out with a bunch of color options. So to me, again, that sell that says to me that these products sell. And I do know from personal experience that I have made sales on Zippo lighters. So the next one is pennants and these come in three different shapes and five different sizes. And yeah, these can be used for weddings, small businesses probably, and definitely like home decor wall hangings. I can't say that I'm too involved. I don't really, the pendants one, I can't say I know much about, but there's definitely some ways you can use that. And um, again, in that creator's guide for the weddings that we 
did a couple weeks ago or whenever that was, they showed us a pennant in there. So you can go look at that if you need an idea. Next is the picture ledge. So this is basically a poster with a little wooden ledge that screws into the wall. And so it looks all nice. Um, I can't really say too much about it. It's wall art. <laughs> The next item on the list is pop sockets. And I have mixed feelings about this one because Amazon Merch introduced pop sockets to their marketplace in, I don't actually know the year, but it was probably 2018, maybe 2017. So Zazzle is way behind on this. And if you look at the Google Trends results, if you just search pop socket, it's pop so it peaked in 2017. So, what are you doing, Zazzle? <laughs> like this peaked six years ago and has been trending down ever since. It's kind of steadied out, but why? Like if you didn't introduce it five, six, seven years ago, why are you introducing it now? I just don't really get it. Um, it's still a good product, don't get me wrong. I just, to me, it doesn't make sense that they introduced this product to the marketplace so late in the game but i guess people always need pop sockets like they do sell and i see them at the stores in person all the time so i know that they do sell and there is a demand for them i just it annoys me more than anything that zazzle was so late to the game with this because i remember when they introduced the phone ring grips and i was so excited about those in um it was in June or July of 2019. I remember because I was on vacation with my boyfriend and I got up early one morning to design on them because I knew how popular pop sockets were on Amazon merch. So I thought that those, these uh, phone ring grips would do well too. And they just didn't really perform super well for me. I think there's more to that. I did have first movers advantage, but I don't think my designs or tags were very good. Also, I just, don't think that they sold that well. I don't know. If you know different, let me know. So I'm just a little bit disappointed because I would have loved to have been on that train of selling pop sockets when in the peak, when they were doing really, really well. And we've kind of missed that boat. They'll still sell. I've already, I've sold a few. I did make some, I've sold a few, but they're not gonna sell to the same extent they, extent they would have years ago. It is what it is. That being said, um, they would make really cute bridesmaids gifts. <laughs> Next on the list is desk mats. And these have been popping up all over the different print on demand marketplaces for a while now. I think Zazzle is a little bit late to the game as well. I think Redbubble and Society6 have already had this product for quite some time now, but whatever, better late than never. I do think that these have potential to sell. I can't say I've made too many of them. Again, you kind of have to pick and choose what's gonna work for your audience. And I just didn't think that this was the best thing for mine. But I do think that if you sell electronic accessories or I don't know, somehow it fits within your niche, I definitely think you should go for it. I think they're a good product and that they will sell. I don't know, but I think that. Next is doormats. And I just kind of clued into this, uh, looking at this list again, uh, it kind of seems like Zazzle's getting a little more into the home decor because they got doormats and then we have a couple other home decor items on this list and we talked about the um what else did we the pennants which could be home decor and uh i mean the illuminated signs could be too what was the other one the one on the ledge but i don't even know where it went. oh the picture ledge the picture ledge was another one that's home decor so i think that's kind of interesting i'm wondering if sazzle is trying to get more into the home decor niche or if they're just you know diversifying keeping their portfolio balanced so it's not just wedding stuff but yeah so they're offering doormats they come in two different shapes they come in a rectangle shape and then a half circle shape and um a, for a few different sizes i think the rectangle has three different sizes and then the half circle has like two and I think that these would make good gifts or items for uh, newlyweds, people that are in new homes. And then also I think too, another one would be like young adults that are moving out of home for the first time. The next one is Bluetooth speakers. And I cannot say this for sure, but I was so sure that Zazzle already offered Bluetooth speakers and discontinued them a while ago. So, I don't know if they were Bluetooth or not. Maybe they were corded speakers, 
but I do know that Zazzle definitely had speakers and they offered them. They were new from sometime in the first year that I started, I'm pretty sure. And then they were discontinued within the last couple of years. So they really didn't last that long on the platform. And I, I think that's kind of one of those things where you're, it's how much risk are you tolerating? How much risk do you want to tolerate? So designing for those Bluetooth speakers, that was obviously a risky time investment that didn't work out. I know I designed on a bunch, but I mean, it's also a learning experience when you're new to the platform. I don't think it's the end of the world, but we definitely do want to be investing our time as wisely and strategically as possible. So not to say that I don't think that these Bluetooth speakers will do well. I have no idea, but it's just something to think about. The next item is another home decor item and it is an area rug. And I was so excited when this one came out because this is potentially a very high ticket item. And again, it's gonna be one of those things that doesn't sell very often, but when it does sell, especially if you sell the largest rug, you're gonna make like $50. So that is amazing. That being said, you need to have a good design, obviously. No one's gonna spend almost $600. The base, the base price is $576. So no one's gonna spend that money if it's not a really nice design. So if you aren't confident in your designs, I probably wouldn't even bother. But if you are really confident in your designs or if you're a surface pattern designer, this might be a really good item to load your shop up with. Next is the new luggage. And again, this is another product that Zazzle had other luggage not that long ago. And I don't know if it got discontinued. Well, it must have been discontinued. That's why it's not on the platform anymore. But another example of, I, can't, I know some people put a lot of time into designing their luggage cases and now there's a new luggage option and those designs did not get transferred over because yeah, they just aren't the same product. So that is kind of a bummer. And again, the risk that you take when you design on kind of those more unique items on Zazzle. And with that being said, these luggage cases are have a base price of like $200. So that could be a really nice commission if you do decide to go after this product type. The next product is a wax seal stamper. So it's this, yeah, little stamper thing that you can put a little imprint into you get to design the imprint and then they buy the wax and they close seal the the envelopes with it. I think it's kind of a hilarious product to be honest, but um, definitely very niche. There's definitely a specific person, different, a specific target audience, I think that would go after this product. And I would definitely think weddings is kind of the main thing that comes to mind. I mean, maybe I also think of like an old man, not an old man, but like a middle-aged man smoking a cigar, very uh, like sophisticated, you know, in his office, like sealing his envelope. So that's another person I guess you could design for, for that product. <laughs> oh, which then it could be like a Father's Day gift. So that's something. And that one has almost an $80 base price. So that's a pretty good commission again for that product type. The next product is very similar, but instead of a stamper, it's just pre-made wax seal stickers. So again, same kind of customer base, I would think for that one. The next product is denim jackets. So I think when Zazzle launched this product, they really had like bridesmaids or bridal party uh, gift ideas in mind, but then I was also thinking that it could be fun as like a ladies golf team or like some kind of women's club or something like that could be another idea for the denim jackets just to kind of think outside the box because I think it's great to do everything like to use the products as they're meant to be used. But I think that there's also that opportunity to think a little bit outside of the box on who might want this product and like in a way that's not not for its intended intended audience if that makes sense so i think the intended audience is those bridesmaids and the bridal party and the the bride going out for their weekend or whatever i don't know but i think that there's also that opportunity to target other people 
And yeah, like a women's, I don't know, like I want to say a book club, which is kind of, I don't know. That's the only like club I can think of, but even just like an investors club or yeah, a golf team or a bowling team, or there's lots of different teams that it could be for a debate team, right? Like there's so many different ideas there. Um, but I thought that could be kind of a fun idea. So if you've looked at the products that Zazzle offers, you may have noticed that they offer quite a few different golfing items. And so they've actually introduced two new products this year. And the first one is the new divot tool and the other one is golf gloves. So I think that these are products that if you look at the catalog of products that Zazzle already offers, it's obvious that these products fit so well with those other golfing products. And I think there's huge potential there to make good sales. Next is the e-watches. So Zazzle offers a quite a few different watches. I am quite surprised by this actually. Uh, again, it's like their catalog is so large. Like I don't know every product that they offer. It's crazy. Like I was just looking through this. I had a pretty good idea of what products were new this year and some of them or this past year, sorry. And yeah, I was like surprised by a few of them. This one is one of them watches. Okay. And they already offer, they have 57 different items under watches. So that to me says that watches sell. And this year they announced 11 new watches from some kids watches made of like silicone to men and women's adult watches. So definitely a good potential product if that is something that you want to offer in your shop. The next three products are kind of, they're, they were separate releases, but they are kind of a similar product is the new iPhone 15 cases. So there's three of them. They offered the Casemate, the Otterbox, and the Spec case. Zazzle comes out with the new iPhone cases every year, so that's just something we just roll with. There's not really too much exciting thoughts or news to go along with that. And again, if you've designed on older cases, like the older version, the older, um, like the iPhone 13 case, your design will get ported over to the new case as long as you have that option selected in your advanced settings. And again, I went over that in the how to set up your first Sazzle shop video. Next are the ornament cards. These are pretty seasonal items. They're in the shape of snowflakes. So I think that it's pretty obvious they kind of have a very uh, seasonal time. But uh, I would say that if you want to jump on this product, now is a good time to design for it because it's early in the year and you're going to have lots of time to get a bunch of them out before the holiday season. That being said, this is not the product for me and I will not be designing on this product. Next is print sets. So this is another home decor item and they come in sets of two, three, and four, and then they have a bunch of different sizes as well. And my first thought to use these is probably as nursery items, like in a baby's nursery. I mean, you could use it in any room of the home. And then if you're creative with it, you could probably think of other uses for a um, print set as well. Next is scented candles. I think this is a kind of a fun one. My only kind of issue with it is I don't know who's spending $38 on a candle, but I guess when it's personalized it and it's a gift, you kind of splurge a little bit more. I just think it's a higher, I don't know, like I just can't imagine spending 40 bucks on, 40 bucks US, so that's more than $50 Canadian. <laughs> I'm not spending 50 bucks on a candle, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> but that's just me. So anyways, but I do think that it has potential if you find the right target audience. I think that they would make good gifts, like I think of best friend gifts or like sisters or anniversary gifts for couples. Or I thought another one would be like for coworkers for Christmas or something. You get like a cute little company or just company gifts. I don't know. And then of course, bridal party, bridesmaid gifts. And next is poker chips. And this one to me just screams bachelor party. The chips are about like just over $2 per chip, but you buy them in sets of 10. So you're gonna make either like a commission off $20, $40, $60, $80. Yeah, so I think that there's potential to make a pretty good commission on that one. And I think bachelor parties are a huge 
niche on Zazzle, so that could be a really good one to design for. And it was also only introduced to the marketplace in November, so it's not gonna have that much competition if that's something you wanna go after. And last but not least is the tape measure. And I just don't understand this product. Why is Zazzle offering this? This to me, like, I and I'm more than happy to be wrong here. <laughs> I would just like to say that. Like, I am I am so pleased if, to be wrong, but yeah, this product just seems so bizarre to me. Who's buying this? Yeah, it's just like a really random product to me. My only like idea of who I would design it for is maybe a kid, like a kid's, if a kid showed interest in handiwork of some kind, you could get them like a cute little tape measure that's monogrammed. I don't know, this one to me is just so bizarre. Like where, do, how does this fit into the rest of the marketplace? It is so random. But if anyone thinks differently, please let me know in the comments because I would love to be set straight here. I just don't understand why Zazzle introduced tape measures. <laughs> like I don't get it, but it is what it is. So those were all the products that were introduced to the marketplace on Zazzle in 2023. I'm pretty sure that I got all of them, but if I missed one, please do let me know in the comments below. I am a human after all. And let me know what products you think would be a total waste of your time or which products do you think would be the best products to design on in the coming year. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a like and make sure you subscribe for more Zazzle tips. Bye.